go. Okay. Just a lot of good shots coming out here, showing off what the solo can do. We're at a 1650, so we went about from home seven miles, six seven miles. So there's that, and uh, we're heading up Dump Hill. Dump Hill. Dump Hill is. First major obstacle we got. Getting up to it, we've got several little hills involved in the climb. And we're trying to save our batteries for that North Creek run at the end of the deal. So, we're running along pretty good. We're going uphill right now, about 8 miles an hour. It's 8.13. We're supposed to be at the top of Dump Hill before 9 o'clock, is the plan. So we're doing okay, I guess. There's the cemetery, Imperial Gardens. We've got a lot of family buried there. Robert, Dad. Uh, I can't even count there on the leaders' bones there. Several funerals there. I can't remember who all. Yeah. Oh well. Life's for the living, I guess. I gotta go. There you go, cemetery. I'll get there soon enough. Uh, hopefully, not for a while. Uh, a good while, yeah, I guess. Maybe. Whatever. Who knows? God. Please God help us. Thank you God for helping us. That's my standard prayer, my chance. You know. Thank you God. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us. Please God help us. Thank you God for helping us. Please God help us. Thank you God for helping us. Please God help us. Thank you, God, for helping us. Thank you, God, for helping us. That's what I do. Anyway, here we are. Out on the highway, got a full tank. Running 12 miles an hour. It looks like it's downhill, but it's really kind of level or even uphill. <laughs> it uh, looks are deceiving on this highway. It may look downhill, but it acts like it's uphill. Uh, I'm going to have me coffee at the top of Dump Hill. That's right. Call it dump hills because the dumps right on the other side of it. There, we'll be going by that and on our way on the Beulah. Okay, I'm holding 10 miles an hour, and here and there, I on the boulevard over there, I should have kept filming. I missed some great shots. I should have filmed that whole trip. It showed off so many things about the solo. Got up over 30 miles an hour going down that hill, had a green light and everything was clear and it was nice. Smooth sailing went on through there and cruised all the way up to the bridge. And then I got off on the sidewalk and there's a, you know, a fence that kind of goes up and over there and it's so barely fits under. It would have been great footage with that camera up there, it would have been barely missing them poles. I was real sorry I didn't do that. I got a film on it. Anyway, it's a real nice trip. But I'm saving my camera's memory. So 
for the whole trip because we still got to come all the way back, you know. I could even do the drone shots the next day coming back would probably be safer. Because it's downhill technically, you know, coming from the mountains down to Pueblo. Here's our first little obstacle getting up Dump Hill and we're almost to the top of it, but halfway up it, I guess. <laughs> Almost up it, I guess. Running a lot of watts, though. So. Over 600 watts, that's not no good. You gotta get kind of a little more lenient on it there. That'll hold it, Charlie. Hot damn it. Shooting up there around 800 watts, that's terrible. Okay, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta get up the hill. We're almost up this hill, and then we got the big one over here. Dump hill. Okay. 700 watts, man. 10 miles an hour. See, that's what I gotta do, though. I gotta keep 10 miles an hour. We gotta get up there while the sun's still shining, you know. That's the deal. why this is such a good test for it. Uh, for the solo. The solo is the, the best in personal transportation that there is, I think. It doesn't cost anything. A flat tire once in a while or this and that maintenance. But other than that, no gas, no license, no insurance, no nothing. Oh man, this is living free. Cruising 12 miles an hour, still using 300 watts. That's why I say these look like they're downhill, but they act like they're uphill. Because it still takes a lot of energy to get up them, or get down them, <laughs> whatever. Uh -huh. Anyway, it's pretty good. No nails here. The dump, you don't know what you're going to get into on the road here. People carry some loose loads sometimes. Okay, now we're going up the hill here. Up oh, dump hill. This is the perfect bug out vehicle you see. I got my, my pack all here. I got my coffee make, coffee uh, pot. I got food. I got an axe, a shovel. I got a big nice heavy blanket. A light blanket, a sleeping bag, got a tarp and rope. I got all my stuff that I need for the solo as far as taking care of flats and whatnot. We're actually kind of heavily laden right now, I guess. It's just right right there. I carried 50 pounds the other day, a 50 pound bag of uh, corn from Big R home for the chickens and uh, well that was you know 50 pounds and then uh, I had some other stuff in there anyway it did real good up to 50 pounds I'd say it's pretty good upwards of 100 pounds that's getting to where you're asking for trouble probably it's just too much a little bit you know well carrying depending on so I weigh uh, 170 so pounds maybe 180 Anyway, using a 900 watts, shit, that's heavy usage, you know, uh, that's burning up the waters there, <laughs> hey you pretty dogs, pretty dogs, 
the cab is a pretty efficient roller, so it doesn't take a lot to keep it rolling, you know. Like right now, 15 miles an hour, we're not using any watts. That's no throttle at all. Yeah, now it's 14 miles an hour. Holding that though. And that's cruising speed, see? That's where everything's nice. It's just right. You don't gotta worry. It's not, you know, hair raising or nothing. It's not so fast that you can't get stopped or turned if you have to. You get up there about 20, 25, 30 miles an hour and you better hang on to your butt because if you gotta stop or turn, it's not gonna go well probably. Bumps is another thing too. You gotta watch them bumps coming down the road. They can be very hazardous. The solo doesn't have a lot of suspension. It has just enough to get by. And it ain't under you, it's under the, the solar panels is where the suspension's at. So it has very little to do with you. It's, you can make for a rough ride sometimes. See, and then we're going, when we're going downhill like this, the, it's actually kind of regenerative little back current going back. That's the other good part of the solo. Is uh, I've noticed that it's uh, coasting like this. It tends to regenerate a little quicker. Anyway, still full. So that's a good sign. Oh, I was supposed to call Matt. Let's see what time is it there. 8.30. Man, we're ahead of schedule. That's good. I want to be impressive. I want to tell him, hey, man, I'm all the way down to Beulah already. Where are you at? <laughs> I'm giving a little gas here to keep it up there. i got to keep up at about 12 miles an hour is what I want. Please, you know, kind of average that. So got to stay at least that, maybe a little faster if I can, when I can, without using up too much juice. Anything under 200 watts is fine. As long as I'm doing 200 watts, that's using up what the panels are producing. So, that's right now, and that's still 10 miles an hour, so not too bad. Got to get up there. Try and accelerate up to 12 miles an hour, though it jumps it right up to 300 watts. That's the deal. Acceleration is what takes the juice. That's where the pedals can help out, though. They're actually pretty good for acceleration. Up to 15 miles an hour, then you can't pedal that fast anymore. It looks silly. Yeah, 13 miles an hour, looking good. Oh, got a nice hill here, it looks like. It looks like it's going to be the last one for a while. <laughs> so better enjoy it, I guess. Hundred fifty-two watts, 13 miles an hour. Boy, that's all right. We may even accelerate on this hill. This is cruising now. Yeah, 14 miles an hour. Only using 50 watts. Almost 15 miles an hour. That's great. See now it's doing that. Solo would just keep on going. Forever. Well, you know, all day. Nighttime comes. Well then you're on starlight and batteries. Fourteen and a half miles an hour, fifty-one watts. Sweet. Oh, and that's uh, sixteen fifty-four, almost ten mile mark. I better take a picture of that. I guess.
Sean Mulder. Let's stop that sad song. That's enough of that. Now you're just thinking something cheerful, goodness gracious. What is with the sad songs, Charlie? Let's see here. Uh, in Austin, sorrow through my days. Oh, Lord, yeah. I am a man of constant sorrow. I see trouble all my days. And I bid farewell to old Colorado, the place where I was born and raised. The place where he was born and raised. Oh, six long years I've been in trouble. No pleasure here on earth I've found. Oh, in this world I'm bound to ramble. I has no friends to help me now. He has no friends to help me now. It's fare thee well, my old true lover. Never expect to see you again. For I'm bound to ride that northern railroad. Perhaps I die upon that train. Perhaps he die upon a train. You can bury me in some deep valley. For many years there I may lay, and you may learn to love another while I is sleeping in my grave, while he is sleeping in his grave. Maybe you think. I was just a stranger, a face you'll never see no more. But there is one promise that is given. I'll meet you on God's golden shore. He'll meet you on God's golden shore. But I am a man. Of constant sorrow, I see trouble all my days, and nobody knows the trouble I've been through. No.
but nobody knows the trouble I've been through. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble. I see glory hallelujah that's what I felt when I kick in with that hallelujah song I'm going to cut her off here though and do a little bit more filming a little later, okay? Have me some coffee. Sure been fun. We're uh, 10 miles along the journey here. We only got 20 to go. 25. 25 miles to go. <laughs> All right, well, we got a selfie stick here. The latest technology. This ought to be fun here. Let's see, I gotta have this hand, I guess. I'm gonna put you on this side here and just try to stay open. It was a selfie shot there, a drone shot. <laughs> there we go, down the road. There's some selfie stick there. I had to try it out. It makes a pretty nice shot there, doesn't it? You can kind of see from the outside looking in. See the beautiful rain. Anyway, there we go. Get on halfway up the hill. Anyway, this is Rock Creek Hill. A lot of fun in here. Okay, anyway, that's good. The other camera coming out there. We got to switch the memory out or something already. Okay. Well, that's working pretty good, I guess. So we're going down the Rock Creek Hill.
That was exciting. What do you think?
We're up here at a, a scenic stop before going down Beulah Hill. My son called me, Elijah. And we waited and waited for him. And now he won't answer the phone. He's supposed to come up and meet us up here. So I'm afraid I don't understand what's going on. Anyway. So, we're going to head up to the campground and hopefully he'll call me and I got him up there. He's in my van. He doesn't even know the way to view him. Kids. Kids are troubles. And Elijah is in a lot of troubles. But I sure am worried. I wish he'd call me. So anyway, we got five bars. And we're going a little ways here to 
get to the Beulah Hill. I got four and five bars. Anything I use over 200 shows loss, loses a bar. So I can tell right when I'm using the battery. As long as I keep all five bars on there. That's a pretty good way to judge it there. But I gotta use less than 200 watts, which I'm only going nine miles an hour. Except for this, that little part snag in the road there. Everything's going really well. We've still got five bars on our full tank, is what that means, basically. But it's not a full, full tank, that's for sure, because whenever I go over 200 watts, it drops down to four bars. So there's that. We've got 1668 showing on the odometer. So, uh, be about 10 to 12 miles left on the trip here to get to the camping area.
have a good time now. Watching 10 just the other day. Said thanks for the ball, Dad. Come on, let's play. Can you teach me to throw? I said not today. I got a lot to do. He said that's okay. As he walked away, his smile never dimmed. Said, I wanna be like him. Yeah, you know I wanna be like him. And the cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon. Little boy blue, the man on the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, son. You know we'll have a good time then. Came home from college just the other day. So much like a man I just had to say. Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He turned to me and said with a smile. What I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the car keys. See you later, can I have them, please? See you later, can I have them, please? And the cat's in the cradle with a silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, Dad. You know we'll have a good time then. Call him up just the other day. Said, I'd like to see if you don't mind. He said, I'd love to, Dad, if I can find the time. I got a lot to do. The kids got the blue. Something was. Yeah, the house and the kids had the blue. But it's sure been nice talking to you. Yeah. You know, it's sure been nice talking to you. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me. A boy was just like me, a boy was just like me, and the cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man on the moon, when you're coming home, I don't know when, we'll get together then, yeah, you we'll have a good time then. That song, my boy was just a babe. I told myself I'd never be that way. Next thing I knew, I got a job in the mill. Got involved in the union. Didn't have no time to kill. Later, I lost him in the divorce. Only got him on the weekends then. Only got him on the weekends then. And the cat's in the cradle with a silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, I don't know where. We'll get together then, yeah. You know we'll have a good time then. ahead. Solo doesn't perform nearly as well in clouds. So that's a deal too. We still got North Creek Hill. I'm showing five bars running four to five hundred watts. It's going to be interesting.
over that. Get on down into view and then we'll turn the cameras off. Six hundred watts seems to be kind of a thing. I maintain it about ten miles an hour. It seems to be kind of a deal. You gotta be able to put out on these hills anyway. You gotta be able to put out 600, 500, 600 watts and pedal somewhat. I'm actually pedaling not as good as I can, I guess. Straighten my legs. I'm trying to keep it under 600 watts.
I'm going to turn the cameras off, okay? We'll see you when we get back there, okay? Onward to yonder Beulah oh, Line. Okay, we're going up North Creek. Okay, we're going up North Creek. Now get you get to see me strain here. We've got a sitting no throttle four bars. We've got at least about two miles to go to the campsite. And this is the roughest part here. So, but it's a beautiful part. Anyway, it's somewhere between two and five miles, and we'll try and get there before we run out of memory on the cameras here. Oh my goodness, I've been pedaling more than I should, I guess, but I want to make sure that I make it with plenty of juice to spare, you know what I mean. I've been trying to keep about 10 miles an hour, which right now we're doing 10 miles an hour. And uh, right now it's only taking 200 watts to do that. Now it's going to take 400, 400 to do nine miles an hour, 600. Anyway, yeah, it goes up exponentially when we're going uphill. Now we're only going eight miles an hour, using 500 watts. This is the longest five miles here of the whole trip. A real test. It's kind of shady too in the trees. There's that too. I'd like to get up there and be able to get some hours of charging in before the day's over. Be ready for tomorrow morning to head back. Uh, yeah, I think it notices the shade. gone before. Oh, thank you, Lord. Please, Lord, help us. Thank you, God, for helping us. Oh, God. Okay. Poor 
for school. digits over a thousand watts. I don't like that at all. That's heavy usage. I think I'm gonna to have to get a run at this hill. It's the only thing that's gonna work. Okay. Okay.
God damn it. Well, I gotta give up. Yeah, it's too steep. I'm gonna go down there where it's level. Okay? You don't want a toe? I'm gonna need a toe. I can't make it. Okay. It's too much energy. Okay, okay. Too, it's, too, it's too steep. Damn it. That hurts. Okay, well, we're at your camping area. And there's, there's what the solo looks like here. Oh, charging up, getting ready for the trip home. There's the fellas. They're talking it over there. Tell what a great adventure this is. With the mountain ranges, they find seed life. See what's going on up there. So anyway, we're gonna charge up the, the deal. Somebody put up a no trespassing sign since last year. And it looks kind of rickety and whatnot, I don't know. If anybody comes and talks to us, I guess we'll talk to them and tell them we'll go if they want us to do it. It's that big of a deal. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and make camp. There's a solo. And then this time, so we're still here with some things like alligators and Yeah, I had to get help up a hill, but I don't want to talk about it. Yep. So, I wanted to show you our. A little setup here. No camp setup. First, I'll take the food on away and put it away from the camp a little bit. We're gonna have a campfire. Looks pretty good, huh? A solo trike. And the truth is, is it didn't make it all the way up. There was one hill that I could not climb. It just didn't have the power and the traction. The hill was just too steep. And I had to have a pull up it. So there's that. Yeah, uh, we were talking about it. And for hills like that, I need a low, low range. Or one of them mid drives or something. But anyway, we'll figure that out next year. Other than that, it came up in perfect style, no problem. That one hill was just too much for it. It, uh, it pegged it on the watts and, and the wheels spinning out. And I was pumping the pedals for all I was worth and it didn't make it. Of course, you'll see that on the movie there. Anyway, there's Matt and Penny. And we're ready to get ready for the nightfall here. Okay, I'm here in the tent here. Just cozy as a bug and rug. And, uh, Matt made us some wine coolers. I should show you the process, but they're really good. I'm having some of these more smoky. Life is good. Solo track. Made it all the way up here except for the one hill in style. It is, but it was a wrong pull. The last five miles is is all 800 to 1,000 watts just to keep rolling. It's steep, and the one spot was just too steep. But oh well, we'll figure out a low range right. the next time we'll, we'll make it up. At
Life as a filmographer. Anyway. Oh, pretty cozy in the tent. It ain't easy, you know. It ain't easy, especially when I use my throttle hand to hold the camera. Anyway, so we're cruising along into Beulah Land, yonder Beulah Land. That's around there. I'm gonna bring it through here if I can. <laughs> there we go, I'm gonna switch over. You can see this beautiful scenery here. I'm gonna hold it up like that there. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Selfie stick's supposed to work a little better than that, but kind of spongy. Anyway. <laughs> All right, he's a mildly retarded old man. Be kind to the poor mildly retarded old man on a tricycle. You know what I mean? Poor old fella. Just cruising in here. Okay, I'm gonna sign off for take four or five, I think.